Castor oil has been used for centuries for medicinal and non-medicinal applications. It has been something that can be used for pain, to constipation, to inflammation, and so much more. So today we're going to dive into the science of castor oil. Hi, my name is Dr. Ariane Missimer. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, doctor of physical therapy, registered dietitian, and owner of the Movement Paradigm Integrative Health Center, where we blend Eastern and Western practices. So speaking about castor oil is perfect. It's something that I personally use and I also share with my patients and clients. So castor oil has been used in over 50 different countries, and it's an ancient oil that dates back to the 16th century BC. It is, as I mentioned, medicinal and also has non-medicinal applications throughout history. Actually, it was initially used as an engine lubricating agent during World War I, which is really fascinating. It's been used in cosmetics, in as a food additive, and also it's been used in some pharmaceutical drugs. By far the most common use of castor oil is for constipation. Castor oil, also known as Palma Christi, is derived from the bean of the plant called Reichenus communis. So this is something that is native to India, and approximately 90% of the oil is produced in Brazil and India. This cold press process yields approximately 33% in medicinal quality oil, and then it's refined even further to Reichen, which is actually a toxic substance. So castor oil is composed chiefly of the rhinolenic acid, which is approximately 80 to 90% of total fatty acids. Other fatty acids are going to include oleic acid and linoleic acid. So as I mentioned, it has a long history because of these amazing properties of the oil that it can have such impacts on our health. So let's dive into some of the research. Let's start with immune system and liver function. In 1998, Grady et al. reported the results of a controlled double-blind study on the effects of castor oil packs versus a paraffin oil pack among 36 healthy adults. The packs were applied over the liver and the abdomen, and they were also applied with heat for two hours. So just before the application and then two hours after the removal of the application, seven hours and 24 hours after they were doing blood testing. So the blood samples were looking at our total lymphocytes, T11 cells, T4 cells, T8 cells, B cells at each interval. So the results of the total lymphocyte count peaked at seven hours with an increase in T11 cells contributing to the overall increase in lymphocytes. So at the 24 hour mark, the total lymphocytes did decline, although they remained of course within normal limits. So in the second study, there was 17 participants with fatigue that were recruited to participate in a long-term study of castor oil packs. So during this, they applied the castor oil packs for one and a half hours per day over the liver area five days a week for two weeks. Blood samples were again drawn and they were drawn on days 0, 8, 15, and 22. And they were looking again at very similar labs. So looking at the lymphocytes and so on. Also, they added cholesterol levels. So during the course of the treatment, the mean total lymphocyte counts normalized within the group and were at the lower end of the treatment versus baseline. As an unexpected outcome, there were two participants that did have elevated liver enzymes and cholesterol, but they normalized these values by the end of the study. So what we can extrapolate from this is that there is a improvement in lymphocytes while using the pack. Now, granted, these are very small sample sizes, so that is very important to consider as we're extrapolating some of this information, but this is where we could potentially consider this for someone that may be going through chemotherapy, as an example, maybe really struggling with immune health. So it can have a very promising effect, although of course more research is needed. All right, the next study we're looking at is regarding pain reduction. So Meyer and colleagues assessed the effectiveness of three types of contact media. So this was ultrasonic gel, petroleum, jelly, and castor oil. And they were doing this along with shock 
wave application. So patients' experiences of pain were evaluated during the treatment for tendonitis of the shoulder, epicondylitis, and a plantar heel spur. So there were 60 patients that were included in the study, and each patient received 30 total treatments. So 10 using the ultrasonic gel, petroleum jelly, or castor oil. So the patients were blind to what the contact media was used, and they were asked to assess their pain using a visual analog scale. So basically zero to 100, zero meaning no pain, 100 intolerable pain, you're going to the hospital. The study found that the castor oil resulted in significantly less pain compared to the gel in all three conditions using that visual analog scale. Because of the chemical nature as well as the viscous nature of the castor oil, the thought is that regarding the castor oil as it relates to pain is that it was not influencing the specific nerve fibers and contributing to a reduction of pain compared to the other modalities. So this could be something where we could consider using castor oil or a castor oil pack on particular areas of pain. And now for constipation. So Arlson and Esser evaluated the effectiveness of castor oil packs applied to the abdomen and doing that for symptoms of constipation in the elderly who quite frequently experience constipation. So it was 35 nursing home residents over 65 years of age with chronic constipation over seven years. And symptoms were tracked for 14 days using a specific scale called the defecation monitoring form and also a visual analog scale. So they were we're looking at the number of bowel movements, the amount of feces, the fecal consistency, the degree of straining, and feeling of complete evacuation. So quite a bit of subjective information here. So the castor oil packs were applied to the abdomen 60 minutes on three consecutive days, so days 8, 9, and 10 of the study. They found that the application of the castor oil pack in the abdomen resulted in improved fecal consistency, reducing in straining, and improvement in evacuation. However, there was no change in the frequency of the bowel movements or the amount of feces evacuated. So this is where we could consider as a treatment is using castor oil packs as an adjunct therapy to treating chronic constipation. So chronic constipation could be related to so many different things, including pelvic floor dysfunction, potentially intestinal methanogen overgrowth, and so many other things. So we want to be able to look at this as a whole, but this could be one intervention that we include to really address the constipation. There was another study and series of experiments in mice and guinea pigs where Viera et al. investigated the anti nociceptive and anti-inflammatory effects of castor oil compared with capeskin, which is essentially a chili pepper. Nociceptive meaning pain. So what they found with this is that rinolytic acid, which is in our castor oil, depletes substance P in the presence of inflammation and also, the capeskin does this as well, but they both were also considered anti-inflammatory. There can be sometimes an irritating factor with capeskin when you first put it on, but they both were actually helpful in anti-inflammatory and neuropathic pain. So this could be a really good opportunity for an adjunct therapy to help with people that might have neuralgia, diabetic neuropathy, or other neuropathic disorders where maybe they're experiencing nerve pain. So as always, we still want to figure out the root cause, but this can be a great complementary practice to that. So hopefully you enjoyed that quick review of the literature. And I do want to just point out that all of these studies were very small. There is not really high quality research in this area, but if you are looking on the internet, you will see that anecdotally castor oil has changed people's lives. And I think this is where it's really important to experience it yourself. And there's very low risk with castor oil. So that's always a win that you can begin to explore it and see how 
it might affect you. Just to kind of give you some quick tips. So I do recommend purchasing extremely high quality oil. So that is very important. If you decide to use the packs, you can use a little bit of heat with that as well as you saw that in some of the studies. And what a great starting point is, is putting the castor oil pack. So you put the oil on the pack, you put the pack over your liver and you could do this before bed. I always recommend my patients starting with 30 minutes before bed and then taking it off. They can ultimately progress and potentially even wear it overnight. You can have a detoxification reaction. So that's called a Herxheimer reaction. And with that, you can feel a little groggy in the morning. You can feel, you know, kind of maybe a little nauseous, a little headache, a little fatigue. I have experienced that. My patients have experienced that. I always prep them for that, that that is a possibility the first time that you do it or you do it for a longer period of time. So just know that that's a possibility, but it can have tremendous effects on supporting liver detoxification and potentially inflammation and pain and constipation. So there's a lot of really great applications for this. So I do hope that you enjoy it and you explore and feel free to let me know in the comments if you already use one and how it's affected your life or if you're going to try it. I'd love to hear that too. So if this was helpful, please make sure to give it a like and a share. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly tips on everything from functional medicine, holistic physical therapy, and nervous system regulation. And of course, we'd love to see you in our app. So feel free to join the Movement Paradigm community on Apple or Google. And we have all of the programs you need for whole body wellness through integrative care and root cause medicine. So feel free to reach out for a discovery session. We'd love to help you. Thanks for your time.